morning everybody welcome back this is part three of the multi pocket folio uh, we left off uh, we had covered everything the papers on this um, front side so I'm just going to sit that over um, so this to complete this portion here I need to get some paper on this side so I have decided I've got this little bit of paper here. I think that's going to look pretty if that's on that portion of, um, of the file folder. Okay, so let me just go ahead and get that down. And then we will start on the back and we'll just see what we can achieve uh, on this today. Let me go ahead and cut this down a little bit. Seven and a half. Okay, there we go. Want that bit. So I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope you had a nice weekend. We um, did some more packing and cleaning, and um, and then we did manage to get out and do a couple of short walks with Daisy. So. It was a nice weekend. We've, um, with the shipping, we've had to power wash some of the things that are going over to the U.S. Uh, we learned some time ago that you cannot have anything that looks like has come in contact with soil. So obviously I've got some of the um, yard ornaments and things that we're putting into the container. So those have all had to be power washed and we're hoping that... Um, that they won't make us, they, if they suspect there's anything, you have to put it through an agricultural wash, and it's ridiculously expensive, as you can imagine, for them to deem it, you know, clean, but we've had, we've been through this process before, when we took a, um, a vehicle, we've, we've shipped a couple of vehicles in the past over, and uh, and they've they've made us go through that, so I'm hoping that we can avoid it this time because it's all um, personal stuff. But we won't know, you know. The government's got its own way, don't they? Okay, so that's the back side. I think I think that's nice to complement that to break it up slightly. And then I'll get this bit covered here before we attach it in base. So this is what I consider um, the back. And here I want just a little strip to cover that up there. So I'm just going to, let me see if I've got one already. That, no, those are too small. Because this is going to be a pocket. I'm only going to cut a small portion of this. So we'll get that covered, and then um, this little pocket I want covered with with the turquoise. So yeah, that's the sort of things we're just kind of tidying things up, um, 
and uh, a few a few more things we got packed and taken down to the storage unit that I know I won't need at the other place because I'm not going to be doing a whole lot. I'm going to tell you right now when we get to that other house, guys. I am not going to be doing a whole lot around the house. <laughs> I just want to use the time to finish up these projects that um, I've got a few unfinished projects as we always do, don't we? So I thought it would be fun to do that. Um, and I don't know, I've been given some thought about taking another course. And I'll tell you, oh I should have brought it up, I will tell you why. Um, on our walk yesterday, I don't know if I ever shared with you guys, but one of the things I, I love to collect is sea glass and I've got a reasonable amount um, you know maybe tomorrow or next time I'm on if I can remember I'll show you my little jar that I've been collecting it's glass from uh, Wales the beach over there well anyways yesterday we were on a little walk here on the river and um, I ran across a little beachy area that has a load of glass, but now most of it hasn't tumbled enough, but I did manage to get a few pieces. But amongst that were some pieces of um, porcelain pottery and things. So it got my brain, <laughs> you know, it was engaged and I was thinking, ooh, 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 should I take a soldering class and maybe start turning those into some little um, bits of, not jewelry, I don't want to get into jewelry making, it's just not my thing, but I thought, well, if I could turn those into little charms, I don't know, do I want to do that or not, but it's a whole other thing, as you guys know. Um, and I'm just not sure if I want to invest um, the time to learn another skill. So, okay, so here is going to be my contrasting for this one. Let me go ahead and measure that and get that cut down. So that's where my head was at with that six and a half. Um, so I thought, gosh, I don't know. But this is the problem, isn't it? Because now that I've found those little pieces, I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> should I learn how to solder? Um, but I think that would end up being a quite expensive hobby just because uh, when I did some of the beads, I don't have any to show you guys. I did a little bead course probably a year and a half ago. And one of the things... She, it required was that you had the um, silver uh, bead wire and that ended up being so expensive uh, for the silver and I'm, I don't know enough about it to know if I could solder something that's not pure silver I don't know I don't know how it works you see so that's got me put off a little bit by it because I just, I don't want to invest too much into anything else. Because if I don't like it, then I've spent all that money. So there, that's, that's the dilemma I'm at at this point. I'll probably just end up just keeping the little bits in a, in a different jar. Because they're quite pretty enough, you know, on display as well. The little, I mean, I've picked up pieces in the past and I ended up throwing them out because I thought, oh, it, I, I like my jar that's just sea glass. Especially when you find the really, like the cobalt blue glass, that's so hard to find. Um, but I just love, I don't know, there's something about that going out and uh, finding those bits. And my uh, 
my mother-in-law who lives in Pennsylvania gave Nikki, when she was little, she gave her a, a jar about that, I don't know, about that deep, full of glass she picked off of um, Lake Erie. And I, that's probably when I fell in love with it because I just thought that was the I just thought it was the nicest thing to give somebody because she picked up all those bits. So when we came over and I spotted some um, on the the coast there in Wales, probably the first time we went over there, I picked it up and I thought, oh, this is going to be my thing now. <laughs> so what would be fun is if I can pick it up, you know. On other places that we visit. When we were in Michigan, I didn't find any um, on the lakes up there. But then again, the kids were with me and I wasn't really looking for it. But it'll be fun, you know, wherever we end up going to get out and see if I can add to my little collection. So we're just covering, again, you know, the pockets and little pieces here. And then we'll start filling this with some pretty ephemera. Now that we're, um, I don't know if I told you guys, among all of this, Paul decided we needed to lay sod in the backyard. So, holy cow. On uh, Thursday last week, he had a load of sod brought in. So, sorry, I'm whispering because he's downstairs. So, yeah, he brought in a load of sod. So, we had to lay sod in the backyard with him. <laughs> But, oh my gosh, it looks so nice now. And I, th I thought, you know, it's just typical, isn't it? Um, we get the place looking so nice, and now we're moving on. <laughs> it's always the way. But uh, it is looking really, really nice out there. So hopefully whoever moves in will be happy with it, because it, it's, um, it's, it's looking nice. Okay, I'm liking that because this is going to all get filled, let's see, and then we'll add, I'm going to have to come up, um, I don't know if I did show you guys, <coughs> I don't know if I showed you this in the last one or not, so I'm, I apologize if I, if I have already showed this, this kit does have a few journal cards and some tags. Now these I downsized so that we'd have a nice, see that that's the original and I just printed it um, so that we'd have some small ones. But there are no pockets so I will need to turn some of these into a few pockets on the front and then I'll pull out some other bits and pieces that will coordinate hopefully. Okay, so where, where, where are we? Let me get these. Um, let me just go ahead and get these glued. That way they can be drying. And then we'll get the, the uh, front portion attached. While, and that can all sit and dry while we are. So, you know, with this, just... Bearing in mind, um, let me see, this is a pocket here, but just thinking back here, if you want, you could have this flap fold down, because you're going to have the pocket on the front, so you could just, gosh, you could add a couple more flaps going out if you wanted, it could just be, is, you could take this as far as you want. Um, but I'm going to keep it like this just because 
that stays fairly flat so that it's going to be easy for me to ship out because I've got some ideas on these for some, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, um, so I'm going to keep these fairly flat, but you could just add and add and add to this, guys. I just love the colors on this kit. And this design, I just think she does beautiful papers. Go ahead and get this one glued now before I start adding to it. So you can have a pocket on the top, or if you wanted, you could glue that down and have it as a side pocket, but we'll stay with it being on the top here because I can add a really nice um, large tag, a couple of tags actually. Alrighty guys, I'll let that sit. Oh, let me clip that. And then I'll sit this over to the side and let that. I'll tell you what, let's take that. There we go. Alright, let's sit that over there and now we better start making, okay, in side we're going to need a couple of parts. I'll let those dry before we start adding the pockets. So let's just go ahead and work on a few of the bits to go in here. This is the purple medley kit, and I had these left over, so my thinking was I might be able to use a few of these. I think they'll coordinate nice. I mean, in all honesty, that little pocket, and I may have another, yeah, I probably got another pocket in here that I could possibly use, because that's what I used in this one. And I think it's going to coordinate with that as well, so might as well make use of these. That's pretty. So I'll just start cutting these out, guys, and uh,
let's see how this is. Because if I don't like the color, I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'll make some pockets if I don't like this. I'm going to go with that, guys, because it's a good use of these, and um, I mean, it's slightly different, and the reason being is that's been printed on a cream cardstock, because I told you I bought that by mistake, and uh, I've got loads of it I've got to use up, so I'm just going to go with it, because I think when it's filled up, it's not going to, it's not going to be standing out as much as it is right now, because this is more of a white background, but I'm going to go with it. I think it's still going to work. That's the nice thing about uh, Artie Mays' kits. They all, you know, several of them will kind of complement each other, which is nice when you're, you can, you can get more out of your kits that way, I think, if you just, um, you know, some of the designers do tend to stick with the same kind of color schemes, and it's great because you can work them in and out with the others. Okay, so what I did on this other one was I then came back over and put something like a horizontal. So let me just see if we've got something that would work. I mean, if not, I might just take the small pocket and put there. That would be a one, two, three pockets, four pockets on that. But I, I kind of like the butterflies. Hmm. Well, that's a pretty tag. I'm going to go ahead and cut that one out. That will, I think I'll use that one for this. And then maybe that one on the other side. So we got two large tags right there. So let me cut those out. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> I just buried the other one. Okay, we're going to go with that, guys. <clears throat> I've got this <clears throat> laid out as well. Remember when we made this? I might go back in a and finish this project off. I gave you the guys the base on this, um, so we may actually do that in an, in another upcoming project video. Um, I've had uh, many people ask me to do a tutorial on the altered um, 
uh, the beeswaxed pouch that I made with the mini journal. So I think that's going to be our next project um, once I've completed this. All right, so these, I've done these because I think those will fit in there nicely. Uh, what I'm going to do on these is, because that's on white, I'm going to back those with some tea dyed paper and do some stitching around that. So I'll come back to that um, because that is going to need me to go on the machine. So that'll be those two. So let's just go ahead. We've got our pockets and then just filling those up. Um, let me put a little charm on that one. So this was just a little charm that I had, um, just a little bead I, I got off of an earring that I used to have because you know I love my turquoise. So I just got that hanging there. I was going through stuff and I thought, oh, I don't really wear those anymore and I thought, well, you know what? Just keep them because I'm terrible at uh, jewelry making. So that I think that's going to be cute there. All right. Um, so I'm going to do those. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get our pockets inside here. So I what I did, I ended up doing two pockets. So that, let me get some more paper cut. this one for the upper so we're gonna do one about that tall so Okay guys, sorry about that. My camera shut off, so I've just made <clears throat> a smaller one so that we've got uh, 
two pockets there. So let's get those down. Okay, so that's got our pockets there. Let's see what else. We know we want a side facing one here. That's how we did this one. So let me see if I've got something in here that will work. I'm going to take one of these small tags, I think I'll take that one, and I'll just cut that off and turn that into a tiny pocket. something <clears throat> sideways there. Okay, and then Ah, yes, we've tweaked this one. So we've got these here, so <clears throat> can do something with those here. I'm going to do a belly band, and then we've got our pocket there. So let's fold this up. Anything else? We've got those, that, and then back over here. It's just filling those in now. Awesome. Okay. So let me see what we did. This was a journal card, and we put a pocket back here. Okay, and then another. Okay, that's great. Let's just get on with that. All right, guys, so I think what I'll do is I'll make this portion... And then I can see that my camera is getting very, the battery is getting low. So I'm going to have to do this in another section. So what I'm going to do is, this one I'm just going to fold and cut that off. And we are going to stitch that on the machine. So that's going to become a pocket. Okay, so that's what I did here. Um, what I'm going to do is go over and just stitch that on uh, three sides. And then on the back, <clears throat> I'm going to form another pocket here. Um, with something. Let me see what I can do. I'll probably take... I think I'll take another tag and cut it off. That's a nice image. So, just so you guys can see. And then 
Let me do some stitching and then I'll be back and then this I think will stop at this point and I'll come with, <coughs> back with part four because now you can just get on with uh, making it. You've got everything there at this point. It's The rest of it's just going to be filling in. So I'm just cutting that tab portion off. And that's going to be a... I'm going to move it down here. That way there could be some writing here. And then you can still have room for a tag. So, okay, so what I'm going to do... Before I stitch those together, I'm going to go ahead and sew that pocket on there, stitch that together, come back, and I'll show you where we're at, and I will also uh, have the backings to these, so I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm back. Here is what I have done. I've got a little pocket here, ah, and then a pocket at the top. So I'll make a journal card for that. And then what I want to do really quickly is just embellish these. And I've just pulled some bits and pieces that I've had laying around that I think will coordinate nice with this. So just to add a little label here. And then I've got one of these tiny clocks that I thought just to add a little bit of dimension to that one. I'm just going to put that there. It's just more texture. And then this is another butterfly. This is a Artie Mays. Uh, I think it was from the Fox Glove collection, that one. And then this tag which I now see is not going to fit that pocket. <laughs> Hey ho. Okay, that's okay. I'll use that in a different uh, pocket. So I'm going to set that to the side. So that's done. All I got to do now is do a journal uh, card for this and then another tag. So that's another embellishment that will go into the pocket there. I've backed the large tags with the tea dyed paper. I'm just going to go ahead and set the eyelets. And then we're going to just embellish these with bits and pieces from our stash. Okay. So for this one, I've just taken some of the paper and torn. This is all part of the um, original kit, and then this is the purple medley kit. And then I believe this is part of the purple medley kit as well, but I just want to use up everything, guys, um, so that I'm not carrying so much around. And then I've already fussy cut some butterflies. And I'm just going to place those around. there. And then this is just a little um, phrase I've got. This was a um, My Porch Prints. So that one is done. And 
this is some of this chiffon ribbon I purchased now I'll be honest guys I'm not mad I don't know it's got kind of a yellowy color to it I'm not mad on it I've got to use it up and it does seem to match this okay so I'll be honest I've had a, a time getting a good supplier for the um, sorry silk here The colored is fine. It seems to be the, when I'm getting the natural. They're just, I don't know, it's not great quality. I'm not sure. So I'm hoping I can find a new source of that soon because I, I do use quite a bit of it. I've kind of gotten away, I mean, I've still got a, a lot of um, seam binding, but I've kind of gotten away from it as much <clears throat> because I'm trying to keep things the natural goes with so many things <clears throat> different things whereas the seam binding <clears throat> you've got to have you know the specific color and it's just more I've got to carry so I'm just thinking ahead all the time all right guys so that is going to be uh, one of the, now if that gets to be a problem could glue those butterflies down completely, but I don't like doing that. I like them to be dimensional. Let me go ahead and kind of loosen this up a bit. There we go. That's better. And the same on this side. All right, this one here. I've got a bit of the contrasting paper, just a little scrap of that I want to add to it. And this is a freebie from Artie Mays. You get a sheet of these, and I tell you, I've used those a lot. So that was a really... Now, you have to be part of her Facebook group, I believe. It might be on her website, but she has a lot of freebies in her Facebook group, guys, so do be aware of that. This is just a little label, Stampin' Up! label, in a craft that I cut out. Just going to... Glue that down. And I did something recently where I had inked these little leaves and I just, they were left over and I thought, well, you know what? I'm just going to randomly add those. I'll leave the little stem on that one. And just place these. Like I said, they were just left over, and I thought, well, why not? Why not make use of them here and there? I love the green. The olive green is very pretty. And I think I'll put these over here. And then I got a butterfly. It's going to go there. And I've got one more leaf. Why not? Why not? It just adds a little bit more interest. Okay, let me see. What else? What else? What else? I think that's actually fine for that one. I'm just going to get this. And then we are going to say this part is done. And I will gather up, guys, for the next one we'll finish off, but I will be a bit more prepared um, just to finish off these embellishments because 
I'll go through and print off some things. So we've got, um, I've got to go through and print a few more sheets of things I can see that we want to add to it. So it's really, you know, at this point, you've got the base of it. You know what to do. You can get started. And as I said, the, the next portion is really just going to be filling this in with bits and pieces and getting this ready for, I believe I'm going to put these in a giveaway. <laughs> I don't know when the giveaway is going to be because I just did one, guys, and I have to kind of uh, stretch it out just because the cost is shipping, but I've decided these two, I'm going to do that with it. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, oh, yeah. I'm loving this. This is coming together nice. And this, when I've completed it, um, I mean, that one I'll probably leave there. This one I'll have in this pocket because that's going to stand out nicely there, I think. Actually, I could put it in this, this other one here. Yeah. How fun. Okay, guys. <laughs> it's coming together. Very, very nice. Okay, there we are. We're getting with it. And uh, all right, guys, the next one, like I said, nothing overly exciting, but I will finish off the embellishments and uh, see you in the next portion. Take care. Stay safe out there, guys. I'll be back soon.